Hi, beautiful Libras. Thank you for being here, guys. It's always appreciated. Thank you for being so generous with me, guys. It's so much appreciated. You have no idea. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments, your likes, and all your subscriptions. Welcome, new subscribers. Let's find out what the universe wants the beautiful Libras to know. What advice? Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. Life isn't a sprint. It's a long race and you're not just in it to win. You won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. You're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between your hard work. Embrace what you have learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated. You're going to master your material reality in the future. If all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, you won't value and appreciate the small ones. There is a path that you're meant to be on. Trust it. There's more to know than what you currently know. The end of a tough cycle is finally approaching. Don't compare your life to others. This is your journey. It is your own. So you might be feeling like hurrying to get where it is you're going. Spirit is saying, take time out to smell the roses and enjoy and embrace what you've already learned. There's always more to learn, no matter how old you are or what your circumstance is. There's always more. New life. It's your journey alone. A loyal heart. So just breathe. Rebuilding. Milk and honey. Regenerating. You could be working really hard. Someone's watching you. And you may have changed. You may have said, you know, this isn't for me anymore. I've got new life, I'm rebuilding. I want a loyal heart. I want peace. Something is coming around. Something is in the here and the now. So you are staying in the here and the now. Don't look at the past. Don't look too far ahead. Just stay in the here and now and embrace the journey you're on. You could be comparing your life to others and going, well, everybody else has got this and got that. But this is your path alone. Each person has a special journey. Somebody could be comparing their life to yours as well. Manifest success. Master your destiny by making use of your skills. Harness the creative forces to bring about success and achieve your goals. Stay in the here and the now. But don't forget the journey you're on and don't forget to appreciate the small things in life. The power of angels. May your angels protect and guide you and keep you safe. There are hidden treasures here. Bring your creative ideas and hidden talents to life. Present your gifts to the world. 
your spirit needs to play and have fun. Distractions. Control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. Take responsibility for your own happiness. Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend some alone time. Meditate or go on a retreat. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest and nurture yourself. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Take time to play. It's said it three or four times. Take time out to enjoy, to play, to have fun. You could be working really hard and needing to spend some alone time. Be here now. This is being in the here and now, not in the past, not too far ahead. Enjoy. Smell the roses. Enjoy the beauty that's around you. Hummingbird. You will overcome any obstacle. But someone needs to see the big picture and take a leap of faith. Be open to infinite possibilities. It's time to dive deep. Love is all around. Libra. Someone could be very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses. Allow them to fall in love in steps. It could be you. Power couple. They see that you both have an equal exchange of power which can make you unstoppable as a couple. Coming apart. Meeting you, you was unexpected. You've changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lost their old identity, as they lose their old identity. The mask. They want to remove the mask that they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. Justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. The witch, they see how powerful and magical you are, and sometimes they wonder if you've put them under a spell. <laughs> Here's innocence. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but they feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. They're plotting here. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. Leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting aside their pride and taking a leap of faith. Ooh, yeah. They know you're guarded.
They know you have other options, okay? They know you do. Someone is thinking about this person is focused on their money. They're focused on their work. And maybe that's what they regret. Maybe they were too focused in on work. Maybe they didn't take time out to appreciate you or to enjoy you. Someone is planning of ending something with another lover. They feel trapped in a toxic situation. This person could be hiding that they're being controlled. This person is focusing in on their work. They have some regret. Maybe this person was a workaholic. And maybe they didn't take time out to enjoy the relationship that they had. person does a lot of wishing, wishing that they were more stronger or courageous, more sincere. This is guarded energy. This is a relationship. Someone loves you. And somebody is watching you. Someone may have juggled you. Somebody me. <clears throat> have gone, betrayed you. Things may have ended because of a betrayal. Oh, jeez. Someone wants to offer you an apology, but this person got distracted. Or it is at this, it's distractions. Control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. Your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. Tower. Oh, jeez.
is faded. You are manifesting. This is the temperance angel. Divine timing is here. Solid foundation you are celebrating. Oh, jeez. So you are the past. This person... to give you something this person is really struggling like I mean they want to extend the olive branch to you they want a new beginning with you this would make them happy they know they're gonna have to fight What the hell? This person got distracted. Or they're coming in to distract you. Someone is overwhelmed and is lonely. Overwhelmed with loneliness. judgment here trying to make a decision or they're spying on you to see if you're single if you are the empress you are wish fulfillment but they know you got your guard up they know Hmm. Holding on to some kind of Oh jeez. They got to walk away and abandon somebody out in the cold to get you. They got to leave somebody out in the cold. That's why they're at a crossroads, a detour. I think this person thinks you're going to... They know you're angry because they cheated on you. They feel like a fool. They're angry at themselves for being so foolish. This is a divorce. Because they got to tell you the truth about it. They got to cut out a relationship to be with you. They want to come rushing in. Like that's their instincts. They want to come rushing in. But they know that you're guarded. And they're angry at themselves for cheating on being a fool. It's like 
they got distracted, okay? Or they chose a third party as a distraction because they were missing you. Maybe they wanted to get even with you or make you jealous or something like that. They chose a third party as a distraction to distract them like this person could have been lonely and they could have hooked up with somebody as a, to distract them from thinking about you from being around you they rushed into something they could have even committed to someone and now it's like they would have to divorce somebody stressed out, they're worried that they've lost you and they know they gotta tell you the truth they feel stuck they're angry at themselves they're watching you so this person is feeling lonely like really lonely so they may have gone to another energy as a distraction. This person could have got easily distracted. It seems as if they got involved in a relationship because they were lonely. That this was a distraction. They figured that they could use this third party as a, a distraction to get over you. But they can't get over you. They can't. That's in the here and the now. They are distracted. They can't stop thinking about you. Like you're always on their mind. So this person may have un entertained other energies to get over the fact that they were missing you. Like a substitute, you know, as a distraction. I got to get my mind off of Libra. I go, you know, I'm lonely. I got to get my mind off of Libra here. What am I going to do? Well, it seems they got in over their head. It would seem as if they made the wrong choice. <laughs> Plain and simple, if they're still thinking about you, I don't even care if they married someone else or moved in with someone else. You're still on their mind. And it's frustrating them and it's making them angry because the person who they love is over here. And they're over there. They thought by hooking up with someone else that this would be enough distraction to keep their mind off of you. It's not working. And they are angry and frustrated because they're somewhere where they don't want to be. They know where they want to be. And that is with you. So they could have gotten involved in another relationship. But they betrayed themselves. They feel like they've hurt themselves and betrayed themselves. Because they know that this third party was just a distraction from who they truly love. So, like, you may have cut this person off, you know what I mean? And they could have hooked up with somebody at, to get their mind off of you. But they can't. 
and they are strategizing how to get back involved with the Empress. Because you're on the same page. I mean, this is power couple energy. They can't get their mind off of you. They try to focus in on their work. They're like putting all their energy into work so they don't think about you. Your spirit needs to play and have fun. And maybe this person put work ahead of the relationship, was always working, never making time for you, never nurturing the connection. You know what I mean? And Take responsibility for your own happiness. This person could have a beginner's mind, like not aware of I just see that this person was always focused in on work 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 and no play and then you know I think they got distracted and I think that they may have gone and entertained a a third party because they were missing you and lonely and now how do I get you back? I think that you have released this person I think that this person was comparing their life to others. Like, I gotta work, work, work. I gotta look a certain way. I gotta be a certain way. This is trying to live up to the status quo. That's quite often what happens with power couples. They're so busy working that they don't spend any time together. They want to resurrect this. There is a divine intervention here. You're healing. You've had to face your shadow. It could have been an unexpected ending, like you weren't expecting this to end or they weren't expecting it to end. I don't think that this person expected that you were going to end things or walk away. I, or they could have walked away from you. But I think what happened was... All work and no play. That 
is quite often what happens with power couples. Two people are so busy working, trying to create something that they don't make time for each other. They get so busy in looking toward the future and building toward the future that they don't see what they have in the year and the now. And I think this person got distracted by an energy who told them all the right things, stroked their ego. It was filling some kind of void in them as a distraction, you know what I mean? And it put them totally off course. That's what I think happened. It just put them off course. I mean, if you don't put the work, if people worked at their relationships as hard as they work on their jobs, <laughs> it would probably cut the divorce rate down by 50%. If people worked as hard at their relationships as their jobs, we wouldn't see as much breakups as what we see. You have to take time out to enjoy and <clears throat> appreciate one another for just saying, you know, time alone, alone time. Like we need to spend time alone. I mean, to enjoy what we have in the here and the now before we don't have it. You know, we get caught up in the rat race of work and paying bills and looking after households and kids and there seems to be less and less time for one another. And that's extremely true for power couples. They're always working. And if you don't take time out to enjoy the small things and only celebrate the big things like we got a new house we got a new car we're we're putting x amount of dollars in the bank but don't appreciate that you know you dressed up for that person for a romantic date or lit some candles for them or just said thank you, like put a note in their lunchbox saying you're always on my mind or I love you, you know. I think that there's neglect of the relationship here, I do. And if you don't take time out to appreciate the small things and only celebrate when you've got the big things, it's a power becomes a power struggle instead of like they miss out on all the small things you know all the nice things that each other does you know what i mean like doing kind gestures for one another, saying nice words, or just taking a walk, holding their hands and going down for a walk, or spending time alone to talk about something besides work and money, just to enjoy each other's company without talking about what you did at work.
That's what this reading is saying. You can get so focused on the milk and honey that you neglect the loyal heart. So busy building and going around and around in circles that you forget to appreciate the life that you have together and the peace of just Who helped you get there? You helped each other get there. That's what this is saying. Don't forget the small things. It's the small things that sometimes outweigh all the big things. Take care.